probably they're gonna do more listening. Take leaders, on account of what they tell you, on account of their deeds. But today, Abdu, it is another day. When we move from beyond this stage, we are going into the campaign proper. And beyond that, we are going to the casting of ballots inside the box. Who is going to emite the winner will be clear on 25th March, on 25th November. But political commentators have already hinted that Jame indeed has all it takes to snatch a victory. Whatever the margin of victory would be, maybe anybody's guess. But the man himself has said that he expects nothing less than 90% of the votes cast. I'll ask him his strength. Well, I think probably his development record stands out. Uh, thank you very much. I think one point to note here, I think I've had you in fact talked about that, the evolutionary status of our political history which is modeled into a new Gambia by His Excellency the President. And I also noted you talked about the importance of voter education, which we did not have much about, um, I mean, this, 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 this election. I think that's very important. I think, I mean, the voters, the electorates should know their, the power of that vote. Yes, and the difference it, should, it can make. Absolutely. I think that is very important. and. Uh, Given the trend um, and the global trend uh, in terms of voter apathy and voter indifference, people hardly come out to vote. Although there was a boycott in the case of Liberia, but where you have 25 or less than 25 percent of the people turning into vote, I think that is not an encouraging trend. Um, we, in terms of our situation on the ground here, and to be more specific, this particular election, I am not convinced that there had been a lot of, I mean, I'm not convinced that there had been a lot of activity in terms of awareness creation, in terms of voter education. Um, they have, um, that left much um, to be desired. And uh, you see, once people are not better informed, they are not better educated, you see, they don't see the seriousness in things. And that could result in them deciding not to vote. Some may even conclude that it is a foregone conclusion. One candidate is going to win, why am I then going to vote? But really, it is your right. Voting is a right, it's a constitutional right. And not only a right, it is as well a duty for you to perform. So it is a right to vote and a right to be voted in. So voter apathy is indeed a problem. I think what the political parties should have also been doing, you see, it's not only the responsibility of the Civic National Council on Civic Education, or even the IEC, to be educating people on their responsibilities and rights. Political parties also have a responsibility and a duty to be educating politically their supporters. So, we have a problem here. But I don't think it's too late already. I would have loved to see at every junction, at every pen, placards, voter registration material, and voter education material the airwaves should have been inundated. The front pages and back pages of newspapers should have been inundated. But that's not the case. What is the problem? That is an issue. So if we are talking about voter apathy, we might as well be thinking of voter education, voter sensitization as a bulwark against voter apathy. And I'm slow drop. Uh, 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 uh,
Election is Jama Lenwa. Election is Jama Lenwa. We are going to have Jama Inshallah. We are going to have Jama Inshallah. Because we are the president of Jama Inshallah. Dina election si jama tayari la dina yuko nafasi jama ni duga si jama gele si jama chibaki salatu fatia usobe.